What's going on, everybody? The Throne Podcast. And this week, uh, I got a chance to sit down with Ralph of Eras One, who you may know from some of his awesome live performances from around Miami. <laughs> Got the pleasure of sitting down with him this week to talk about uh, his writing process and uh, a big event that happened to him recently. He went through a back surgery and um, it was a major thing. He had to get rushed to the hospital. So a lot of people who are familiar with the band obviously want to know what's been up with Ralph and how he's doing. So this week I got a chance to sit down with him and it was a very cool conversation check it out right here right now on the throne podcast how we doing ladies and gentlemen i am joined tonight for a special edition of the throne podcast by the lead singer of ears one a hot metal outfit out of miami florida ralph how you doing tonight, bud? I feel great, man. Feel good? <laughs> yeah, I feel really good. I like the look. Thank I like you. the robe look. This is my, my, my the robe and cane. It's almost like a pimp from the seventies. Yeah, kind of look. I'm a, I'm a homeless pimp from the seventies. <laughs> handicapped homeless pimp. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I can. I'm getting those vibes definitely. For sure. But um, af uh af. If you're someone who keeps up with the band at all, obviously, we know that you just got out of some back surgery some serious shit apparently that's what everybody tells me it's super serious but i'm just like <laughs> fuck <laughs> i don't know well know. that's basically why i'm here today man um i was um trying to talk to your bass player by hanging out that day actually and then he uh i heard from alex your guitar player the newest member of the band that you know you had gone to the er and it might have been some back shit and then <laughs> i see the posts online you know and uh knowing you behind the scenes i know you guys are working on on some new material right now so uh, i just wanted to give you a chance to come back and, and talk about your recovery and what exactly happened you know let the people know man because not that you didn't let them know while you were there because <laughs> if you looked at your story you were like everything that happens like you i took a piss three minutes ago that shit was crazy it wasn't even like that it wasn't <laughs> no, even, like, no, 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 I, no. I didn't even post like that but like i don't know man I don't know. So many people came out and uh, like came out in support. You know, like yeah. I, I was just like I didn't even originally wasn't even gonna make a post. You know, like but I like once I found out, I was like, okay, I'm gonna be here for a while, <laughs> for a few days at yeah. least. You know, then people might somebody might wonder where I'm at. Plus, I thought I thought the whole thing was pretty pretty. Fun. I mean, I think of the first. I don't know if the first thing I posted. I don't know what it was, but I'm pretty sure that that meme of me. Yeah, the, on the oh, sidewalk, man, the Yamcha <laughs> meme. That shit was great. Um, that I, was I don't know classic. who to give credit to that. I don't know if it was. It could have been Lou actually, or That's, it could have been. That Lucha, seems right up Lou's been, alley. Yeah, no, he got me. Him and, and Joel from Revolution got some <laughs> some real funny stuff that I'm gonna be posting soon. That's fucking funny, Shortly man. After uh, this. Those memes were really fucking. They were good. Uh, funny. They were getting me. But uh, oh, I like the slideshow over here. Oh the, yeah, you the know, the pictures are changing. It changes. Yeah, I didn't realize. It's that. all just Eras One because Eras One headquarters right now. This is very nice. Yeah. Um, For I was actually. <laughs> That's another thing to talk about. Merch table. <laughs> <laughs> if if um if you've ever seen Eras One perform, you know you're very heavy on the head banging, very heavy on the pounding, yeah. kicking the floor, yeah. and um, putting on a real good show, especially with Andy going nuts up there. Yeah. And so Joe. Joe. yeah, yeah, for sure, Joe. I mean, for as back. much as a drummer can yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. wild out, he wilds out. Yeah. Uh, and then you know throwing beer down his throat and shit, Stone Cold Steve Austin style, you know. But how do you Metal. think that this is going to affect your, your live shows <laughs> once you get back into the swing of things? I have no idea. I, I really I really don't know. I have to. I mean, clearly, clearly I can't do the same things that I was doing before, at least not for a long time. You know, I mean, the, like originally my re, like my recovery, my first recovery stage is like two months from the surgery. So like it's mainly, you know, just this hanging out trying to be like lead like do normal things you know but not like bending or lifting anything like right you know i'm not putting stress on my back so um and then after that i can my understanding is that i can start like physical therapy and all that stuff so i really gotta like before i start doing anything i really need to build up some some strength cut a bunch of weight um and you know then i'll be able to i think more of 
clearly is like more accurately assess the situation. But I'm gonna have to tone it down, at least for, right. for the time being. Like tone it down as far as like like my intensity, maybe, but maybe, but possibly round that out with like some more visual stuff uh, that I can do on my own. So yeah. how how long was this affecting you, and and did it affect your performances ever, like singing wise? So I I, I I've, or is this something that happens spur of the moment? I don't know. No, where. this I mean I've been dealing with this since I was nineteen. Um, I had a I had an injury from most likely working at the UPS store for you know s- periods of time that were just like really intense, and me being a young dumb nineteen year old who thought he was the shit, and like all the cute girls from um were like there you know shipping all their stuff at the end of the year and you know you want to be <laughs> you want to <laughs> you want to look good and i look good at the time and i worked out and all that stuff you know like i didn't weigh 230 pounds <laughs> you know right. so uh with i put way too much effort in and then i went paintballing i messed myself up long story short you know um i got misdiagnosed and then a few years later i found out that i had like two herniated discs in my lower back and from then on, I realized, okay, well, I've been doing all these terrible things for me <laughs> for years, right, yeah. you know. So I've been in pain essentially since I was like 20, 19 or 20, really. Damn. You know, like worse, you know, it does get worse. I do, I used to go through periods where like, oh, God, this, this sucks. Like it would be really bad. And maybe I had to stay in there for a day or two, you know, like stay at home, like don't go to work. But uh, this time I was in bed for essentially, oh, like essentially on and off for two months. And, you know, couldn't work. I couldn't, I couldn't do anything. So, um, yeah, we did play that uh, that show for Terry. Uh, rest in peace, you know, yes. for yes. the McSweens, and <clears throat> I maybe shouldn't. <laughs> that, it you seemed know? like you guys were back at a hundred percent that night. Well, I was there at thank that you. show. Yeah, well, I I went and threw up in the bag a couple of times. I don't know if it was from the pain or from the from I don't know, just drinking. I don't know who knows, you know. But uh, at that time, I was dealing with a uh, with um, with nerve pain from my like for post like. Cause you know, like it's a, it's a spine injury, so like like a, well, at least with what I have, like it kind of like it feels like it's just just your spine at first, and then like, you know, that like gets better, and then there's like some consequences after it. Usually, it's some um, f- form of a pinch nerve or something. So Fuck. my sciatica was just like, you know, I mean, I was there. You know, you saw me. Like I wasn't like, I had my cane after the set, <laughs> you know, and um, I was I was in pain like the whole time. It's just I was like whatever, you know. Like, whatever. <laughs> like, I'm yeah. used to this, you know, kind of, you know. But a week later, you know, I, I suffered the consequences and, uh, you know. And is it and, um, is it something that happened, like, where it started building up? Or, like, it was one moment oh, to the oh, next? Yeah, yeah, so, like, well, yeah, I mean, uh, five days after my 30th birthday. <laughs> oh, wow, you're 30? I, uh, yeah, yeah. That's, you, God Weren't damn. you here? Yeah, but uh, I don't know you were 30, <laughs> Yeah, I'm huh? 30, bro. I'm Holy 30. Shit. Let every, Let the world know. Uh, oh, it's this up, guy. Bro? What's going oh, shit, on, Lou? Lou? What's it's up? Lou. What's going on? What's up, Lou? Lou Lou's coming in. The interrupters. <laughs> Who the fuck is that? Me. Oh my god, that's so funny. That is so funny. <laughs> oh, that, oh man, that's really funny. It took him a while. <laughs> that that is really funny. That, you, that is wow, hilarious. That's funny. So Lou's wearing Thanks a shirt from by, the Lou. interrupters, which we'll be with you shortly. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you, sir. So funny. Hello. That is the funny at at Andy. That's so funny. That's uh, he. Lou came in and interrupted <laughs> the show wearing a shirt that said the interrupters. That's really funny. You can't write this that's stuff. That's my folks. fault. I didn't, I didn't let him know. That's movie yeah. quality. That's my roommate. That's fine. Yeah, know? yeah, yeah. He's also uh, the guitar or ex guitarist of well, years one. Orig- OG founder. The OG founder. You know, an OG yeah. founding member. But really, really OG because he was the one that like. Dude, those pictures, up, dude. You know, like, bro, you saw, so, yeah. Oh and my you see, god. Yeah. And I stand by what you I said. You look so different back then, though. Yeah, it's because I was a lot. Well, yeah, my beard was way short. Order. yeah you were still in the <laughs> building know? stages yeah and yeah well i just like i would never let, be able to let it grow because you know work whatever you know so and i was like you know 40 pounds lighter so <laughs> so back to the to the the day it happened like, oh, was oh, it one oh, moment so to the next it was my, was it my it best friend's up? my best friend danny's birthday okay. i was uh i was sitting here you know i was getting ready i had my clothes on you know i was oh, like man so you were watching. about to go out i was literally i was literally just needed to put my shoes on and the thing about when you're gaining weight and you don't uh Sorry, I just Gotta I like having the this stuff in the background. No, it makes um, a great shot. Uh, <laughs> it's fancy. Uh, damn, I should have offered you some water. I'm sorry. No, you're good. I can get you some water if anything. But I'm fine. Uh, <laughs> I so anyway, I was just sitting here watching Netflix, and then I coughed or I sneezed, <laughs> you know, and like I just. I'm sorry. This just a cough. It, it was really fu- no. It's really it's really funny. It's happened to me before. Fuck. It's actually happened to me while I've been driving, like on the highway. Oh so, no! Ironically, going to a back specialist, like 
years ago. Uh, <laughs> that was really funny. Uh, but not as funny as like what happened later, you know, after, you know, two months after I got injured. So when that happened, you know, I could, I was like stuck in my, in my chair. I was in this chair and I was like, I can't like, anyway. So I just treated it as like what I was kind of used to, you know, even though this time it was worse. Right. You know, so that's how it started, you know. And at first I was like, oh, I'll be in bed for like a week. Then that turned into two weeks and then three weeks and then. And then Terry show, you know, one, two, a month later, whatever, two month and a half later. And then um, I kept n on being unable to just like turn in my bed. Like it was really bad. It was like the worst it's Fuck. ever been for the longest it's ever been. So ultimately it, uh, it, it ultimately I, I, I kept, I guess, re-injuring my back with its knees. And I have, I suffer from allergies like all my life, you know? So like I, you know, constantly like, wiping my, my nose, you know, all that stuff. So um i sneezed a few times and each one of those sneezes like were <laughs> were the same amount of pain that ha like that i felt when i threw out my bag the first time oh you fuck. know so <laughs> i'm sure lou sneeze. heard a lot of screaming from my room a lot of uh very yeah yeah sneezing bro just natural body functions because all your muscles i guess you know contract when you do that so oh that's such a fucking bummer it was not fun man it was not fun uh so at some point it just became too much at some point to go? literally at one point while i was trying to stretch because it was mainly like i was like at one point like both pains kind of like peaked so like i started get you know i kept getting the spine pain and i was also getting the nerve pain and you know it's just all down my leg i hadn't slept and you know the really like i was sleep maybe like in 45 minute to an hour long increments like terrible it's not a good time man. <laughs> and uh you know i tried stretching like i was just trying to stretch and my fucking literally but went too far i guess i re-threw out my back and after that like my leg went numb so i was like okay i gotta after like a week of like like from like sunday for example this was on thursday so like from sunday i had been like like really like in the worst pain i'd ever been in bed and really not wanting to go to the hospital because you know whatever you know uh money stuff because it's expensive expensive so uh <laughs> i was like all right i called lucha because i had talked to him the, earlier that day and you know my band really does they care about me they're really nice you know they're all yeah. very good people and uh i called lucha because like, he's working you know and, and he was in a position where he could have come to pick me up you know yeah. and so i called him like lucha bro <laughs> i gotta go man <laughs> let's just let's get over here <laughs> And, um, you know, he did and shout out to Lucha, shout man. shout out to Lucha and like everybody and Lou also like Lou was going to come. He, like I had asked Lou to come and open the door for him because like I couldn't get up, but I managed to get up and go and lock the door, <laughs> you know. And um, so as soon as I get into into Lucha's car, you know, I'm like, oh, man, like the pain. Obviously, it's just getting worse. And I'm like, all right, whatever. I'll just move around, move around. And we made it down the street to the light. And um this is if you if you're I mean I'm just gonna, gonna be very raw about it you know like I like my pain my foot my the, my toe started burning and I'm like oh that's familiar and but like that's like the extent of anything I'd ever felt and then all of a sudden like the the burning sensation just spread all the way up my leg and it was the it was the I was about to pass out I was like lucha bro I can and I opened the Fuck. door and just started you know yakking on the sidewalk on, on the on the street <laughs> in his car like from his car Jeez. and uh that uh, is that from just the the sheer pain yeah it was i'm pretty sure it was from the pain it was like, just from the amount of pain that i was in like my body was just crazy like, i was about to, i had never felt like i was about to pass out like that like i was literally like i was maybe three or four seconds away from just like being out so from that pain i told lucha like bro i can't like pull over like i was i mean i was screaming i was i was it was hectic. It was crazy. So I opened it. I just threw myself on the sidewalk, bro, because it was the only way that I knew that I would be able to at least, like, relieve something, you know? So I was just on the sidewalk. Luckily, like, while it was a really bright day, it was really nice and cool. So, like, it was really relatively comfortable. You know, I was still in a shitload of pain, like, in a ridiculous amount of pain. So I'm like, bro, call the hospital. <laughs> call, the, call the ambulance. Like, I can't. I can't. Just call. Because I knew at least I'd be, I don't know. I just, you know. Luckily, there was an ambulance, like, you know, less than 10 minutes away, so they came, and in the process, I told Lucha, obviously, like, told Lucha, bro, you gotta take a, <laughs> you gotta take a photo for the memes, man. Right, <laughs> so, right, right. Uh, and how did you, it, like, when you're going through this whole pain, like, it's searing pain, it's so much pain that you're, like, literally involuntarily, like, throwing up on the side of the road, <laughs> and still somewhere you manage to have the thought of, I need to... Get a, a because the whole thing the is meme. so funny 
I don't know. I just think uh, like that's the last thing that would be on and my the cops mind. came. Like, <laughs> you know, people were coming. You guys over. were blocking traffic and shit. No, we're on the side, like on the side of the road. Like, but people it was, like, were turning over lane. to see what was going. Yeah, on. Yeah, like a couple people stopped, Did and some think- guys like, "Yeah, man, I got metal rods." You know how fucking you know how people are. I got metal rods in my back. <laughs> Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Like, come on, bro. Why is that gonna do anything? Like, thank you. I mean, I, I guess they were checking in, to make sure that I was okay. You know, because they probably I thought they I was. Thought I got like Lucho shot was like or a something, murder or something. Yeah. Or no, I mean, whatever. Let's so. go to finish the job. They're like, oh, call nine one one, bro. And he's like, what the fuck you think I'm doing, <laughs> <laughs> like, bro? You know, and, and then whatever. The ambulance Yo. came. The ambulance came and they took me. Call, and, call the ambulance. You know, and shout out to that hospital man, that Memorial uh, Regional man. Everybody there was so awesome top <laughs> like, notch they're really a nice like top notch care like gave you some good morphine bro too, huh? they gave me a lot they had to give me i mean there was actually a point that i wasn't so much because i had to i came in on thursday you know afternoon uh and they couldn't they couldn't do an mri because i'm like there's like a you know a priority list of people like you know that have serious more serious yeah, life-threatening shit so yeah um and the mris take a long time so you had they, to wait uh, to get one? I had to get one. Like, I got one, like, at 9.30 at night or something, or like, 8-something, you know? So I was there f- for a while. Like, they had already interned me, you know? And, like, they I, f- I f- um, like they took them. Then I fall asleep finally for, like, a little bit. And then they wake me up. They're like, we got to get you another MRI because you got more shit <laughs> in your bag. And I'm like, God damn. great. Um, so, but, yeah, no, they're all really cool people. You know, it was really nice. And uh, considering I was in the hospital. But it did, like, once I was in there after a few days. So, like, was, sorry. So, you know, I didn't get... They couldn't schedule the surgery until Monday, so I was stuck being there the whole weekend, you know, because that's just how it is. Uh, and um, was like, yeah, it's <laughs> not fun being in the hospital, man. Uh, it, it, it wasn't Especially fun, but it wasn't, stays. like, terrible for me. Like, I, it was not the worst experience of my life. The worst experience of my life I had already been through okay. <laughs> just before that. So, I maybe mean, all relatively, like, speaking, like, and it just sucked that people couldn't come and visit me. That was, like, the worst thing because yeah. like, I had a bunch of people, like, oh, you know, and, like, sorry you know yeah dude um covid uh, yeah the the covid thing is crazy uh, when i had a, a dog pass away i you know he started you know he was unresponsive so i took him to the animal hospital and literally like i couldn't go in to see him like even though That's so messed they up. were like we can't resuscitate him so he's, he passed away or whatever like they literally wow. they wouldn't let me go in like they gave me That's i so handed sad. them my dog and they gave me back my dog in a in a bag you know That's really sad bro i'm sorry yeah so Oh, uh, that man. whole COVID thing, man, is crazy. It's like, up, they, literally, they will not break that rule for anything. Well, I think it's so silly now. Like, people are getting vaccines, yeah, or man. And I think masked at this up point, now, like, double on, masked man. up. <laughs> apparently, you know, yeah, like it's all, it's, they change the know. rules every. Uh, that's not what this you is know, about. Yeah, it's a whole. But know, um, back to the, the to the issue at 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 uh at hand here. My back, <laughs> <laughs> my uh, back is broken. <laughs> Now that you're going to be out of commission for live uh, shows, even though that's what we've been anticipating, that's what we've been waiting yeah. for, um, you're going to use this time for the new project. Let's talk a little bit about that. Where, How far along is the new project? When can people maybe expect to maybe hear something new? <laughs> the last time you guys dropped a single was... A year ago. Correct. Ish, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. A about maybe single, a little yeah. less than it, like 11 months. Yeah. 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 Then, so yeah. it's been almost a year, man. Uh, so when this are you year, guys planning on dropping? So, okay. This year. So we have it confirmed. <laughs> 2021. 2021. There will be some new eras for one sure, material. One hundred percent. I've heard some samples of it. You know, I like it. I like what I hear so far. I'm Thank digging you, it. I appreciate it. And uh, I'm excited for for the finished product. Yeah, man. And I mean, if you like, I can like you know like I I really think that we're. We're really trying to get this down out by before the end of summer, you know, because it's summer and like our album has a lot of Miami stuff about it, you know. So like, duh. <laughs> and the name of the project is Digital, Digital Neon. Neon right? Is the name of the new of the new album, and you know, it's kind of like like a meeting of like <laughs> the new and the old. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why it's funny. You expect like, the whole album to be out by by the end of yeah, summer? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I think so. I, wow. I, th- I mean, I like to be optimistic, you know. But right now, yeah. like the demos is, is it's gonna be finished. I mean, it's gonna be ready for vocals. Uh, you know, by the end of this week, I would say. And uh, the most of the albums already has vocals done on it, you know. But, um, <laughs> but uh, uh. I can't do that yet because of my current Does situation. Does that affects your your singing? Yeah, well, because I do. Yeah, I draw a lot of strength from like I got from your know, core. Yeah, just all of that, you know, gotcha. all of this gut right here, <laughs> and like, 
you know no yeah but it, it, no it's like i tried actually while i was um do, dealing with this in the beginning when i started feeling a little bit better i um i tried laying down some vocals for one of the like re like just redoing them so I was, i'm just trying to find you know like the specifics of it you know the, the process and uh and they came out terrible <laughs> not to, like the worst thing ever <laughs> but like for me it was like like i deleted my other stuff for this <laughs> like it was not not right, worth it right, you know right. so i deleted that and uh you know now i just gotta put out the new stuff and once yeah. that's done then we can do the final you know do the final version of it send it out to get mixed and mastered and you know in the meantime we are working on all the other stuff like you know getting the videos together you know we haven't started shooting anything or anything like that but there's gonna be Obviously, like a bunch of media for this that we're trying to do, and uh, yeah, you you were talking about. Uh, I think the last time we talked about how you wanted it to be more than just like an album, like a whole experience type yeah, thing. Like yeah, yeah. I mean, theme, it's, maybe merch, all exactly. that stuff. It's a you know, it's a product. Like I and I, I, we we really believe that doing what we do, especially now, like does is not just putting out music. You know, we are like our own business, and we are essentially creating a brand and trying to, you know profit off that brand <laughs> as well you know so yeah. you can't just be putting out music and expect anything to happen in my right. opinion you know right. unless you're like you got like the coolest newest shit you know which i don't think we got the coolest newest shit it's gonna be the newest shit when it comes out but it's gonna be super dope um so i would say it's the dopest shit but <laughs> um, but, um, i think that's awesome man I, I definitely know what you're saying um you can't just put the music out and expect results to yeah. come from it you actually have to put some initiative and yeah. some merchandise along with it shit like that know. definitely some videos always help whether it's uh, uh a music video that you know has a narrative thing or just something that's artistic like some some visuals yeah the, yeah like well, for the song you yeah know? Exactly. Um, even if it's like a lyric video you can have a very artistic and expressive lyric video that has the tonality of the song down packed so 100%. definitely know where you're coming from man and um i think with that bro it's, it's been pretty cool to be able to have this update for the people thank you man for so, me coming all the way over all the way over here yeah all the way to over my, to can I your just give a shout humble out to my meat mountain my the, the big mountain yeah we, i want to get some, mountain, some maybe some b-roll um maybe you know uh i've never really done anything like this before so i appreciate you being the guinea pig as well I'm always, <laughs> you know that was there for the if not the first like, the second episode you yeah know? yeah something like that yeah. yeah i've always been there for you bro third episode because <laughs> episode one was vince episode two was you, alex you oh, okay three. yeah third so, episode. Yeah, even better man. bro three's my number bro that's what's up uh but yeah thank you so much thank for you, man. letting I me do this it. ralph and uh, i'm excited to hear the new stuff yeah me too